I'm going to restore the basic functionality of the game by restoring that code that I used previously on Click Alonzo, where when you clicked, the sprite moved across the screen to a random position. So let's create that code now. The first thing I want you to notice, though, is that I am in the stage. All in Snap, all code is attached to the object, um, is attached to an object, and in this case, the code for th um, this sprite, which is Alonzo, is attached to Alonzo. So it's really important that I write the code on the right sprite. Here's my code, for example, for Scratch the Cat. Here's the code for the sprite. Here's the code for the stage. But let's write code for Alonzo. So I want to go to Control, and I want to use that Win Click code. So when Alonzo is clicked, I want Alonzo to move. So the way we did that before is we went to, um, again, we have the hat when clicked, and we have the go to block, and I attach that, and I want to go to a random position. So let's see how this works. When I run my code, I click on Alonzo, and Alonzo moves to a random position somewhere on the screen. That's perfect. When I hit the green flag, notice how Alonzo comes back to the center restart point, which is exactly what I want. We also, in that program, once we clicked it, we had it go into a forever loop, and Alonzo just kept moving to random positions. And as some of you may have remembered, if you didn't put in a, uh, a block, a, a weight block, you had some interesting results, right? So be sure to put that weight block back in after the go to random position and add in a nice weight block. By the way, the weight blocks are under control. And now, it will move and then wait, move and then wait. Let's see if we get that right. I'm going to restart the program. And there, it moves. Boy, not moving much there for a little bit. So now I can click and it would move too. I could also just test to make sure everything's working by adding a five second wait between movements just to make sure that my click also activates the move. Let's see how that goes. Yep, that is definitely a slow mover. But it's working, but I can still move it by clicking it, or I can wait the five seconds for the move to occur, triggered by code, which there it just went. Not much, but it went. That is restoring the basic um, game.